Well, good morning. It's a new day, new beginning, great day. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your life. You know, we live in this culture today where we don't get enough depth on issues and we don't create a lot of breadth of understanding when it comes to dealing with life challenges. And when I look at our physical health, for instance, I see that now more than ever where people don't get a lot of depth in that area. They tend to want to focus from a medical model perspective or, if you will, a quick fix solution perspective. They don't want to take time to actually work on themselves, work on their body. What they want to do is add things into their body to get the quick result and then say they've earned something when really they haven't. They haven't really earned. They haven't put, they haven't really put that time in. Now, as athletes, I'm not speaking from that lens because that's, that's a completely different environment and industry. But I'm talking about the majority of the people in our world today that are, aren't professional athletes or amateur athletes. We are we're living in a culture today where people want to get the results of what they see in the public eye so bad that they'll put their health and body at risk. And when they put their health and body at risk, what they're ultimately doing is creating more of an opportunity to create illnesses that they don't need, but they're going to have a higher risk of getting because of these choices. And now is the time for us to make proper adjustments of understanding who we are from the inside out. We have to understand how certain foods are impacting us. We have to understand how they impact us and what options we have to make us better. From my perspective, I've learned how to incorporate some natural products such as wheat germ and flax seed and chai seeds into my protein drinks in the morning that are made basically from fruits and water uh, and spinach. I've also learned how to decrease uh, red meat consumption because of the fact that red meat is, it is good for us to a certain degree, but at the rate that we're seeing it right now, it's actually shown that red meat can actually be harming us more and creating a lot more internal challenges. I've also reduced poultry intake, but I've watched how much of the poultry I've eaten, and I've created more of a way of eating more fish and vegetables um, to help you know contribute to that. Now, living in a, in a climate where we have four seasons of the year, um, my diet tends to change as well, but what I've tried to do is, is make proper adjustments by maintaining certain things within the winter months. And to help me within the winter months, I've also incorporated things such as taking glucosamine, um, calcium magnesium, omega-3 fish oil, vitamin D as some of my basic supplements in addition to boiling ginger root and having ginger tea or ginger water that I can add to my two liter bottle throughout the day and add other water to it to get my water consumption but also get the ginger in my body. I've also incorporated apple cider vinegar, uh, having a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar in my water throughout the day. So there are certain things that we can make adjustments with and monitor and as we grow and build this into capacity, we have a better chance of reducing some of the health issues that we see such as obesity diabetes uh, reduced strokes etc so what I'm challenging people to do is take control of you understand how foods and your lifestyle are impacting you see if the lifestyle and the food that you're consuming is helping you be better or is it helping you be bitter and then let's make proper adjustments along the way let's get depth to create breath so that we understand have a great day